Hello, it's Sheila again. I am now got my Aldi shopping haul, and I sorted off with about two cartons of long life semi skimmed milk. They were 85 pence each. Put them down on the floor out the way. I'll shift them after I've done this. And then some. Gold syrup. This is um Aldi's what Aldi's own brand stuff that have in the pan the pantry. I like this on my porridge. I put sugar on porridge sometimes if I run out of this, but it just does not taste the same. This stays on the porridge, the sugar just seems to disappear. That was one pound nineteen pence. And then uh, I need some washing powder. That's all these almat it's called. And that is lavender and jasmine. It's a lovely smell. <laughs> Makes your clothes smell nice. It's £3.95 for... I don't know how many washes it says. It says 40 washes here. I think I'll probably put more than that in when, when I do it. That was three pound ninety five. My porridge. I usually have this when I run out of the breakfast cereal. Yeah, that's what I get. And I think I ran out of it because I never got any last week. Well, that was ninety pence. Carton of fresh orange juice. That was one pound nine pence. That's gone up an awful lot. I think before all this um, carry on with the cost of living, I think it was about fifty nine pence. Probably less than that, I'm sure. And then my honey nut corn flakes. My favourite breakfast cereal. I use. I either got these in Sainsbury's or Aldi's because they were both £1.25 in both shops because Sainsbury's was competing with Aldi's, I think. But they've come down to £1.09 in Aldi's and I got them the last time I was in Aldi's so I knew they were cheaper and they were still £1.25 in Sainsbury's so I waited until I went to Aldi's got them for £1.09. Sainsbury's mustn't have caught up with the different prices in uh, all of these. I think it's a uh, competition with them, you know. And then I got some breakfast pork patties. I had very rare having these for breakfast. I might have them for lunchtime sometime in a bun or supper time sometime. And I fancied one the other night and then I remember, didn't I? I gave them all to the kids when they were here the other day for their dinner. So they were one pound ninety nine pence, and my decaf tea. I do prefer Sainsbury's, but I forgot I needed tea bags when I was in Sainsbury's, so I had to get them in Aldi's. It was one pound thirty five. They are more expensive in Sainsbury's, but um, I don't mind paying that little bit extra if it's something I like. But I had to get them in Aldi's. They're okay from Aldi's, but they're much nicer what I get in um, Sainsbury's. And then I got two tins of their essential baked beans, the cheaper ones. They were 28 pence. It's 42 pence, I think, if you buy the, the other ones, which I'm quite happy with the essential ones. I've tried both and I kind of tell the difference, so I'll buy the cheaper one. So I bought two tins of 28 pence each. And then I bought some chicken noodle soup. That was 62 pence. And my 10 garlic slices, but I have that with soup. I usually um, 
put a couple of slices in the oven while I'm having soup and have a couple of slices. Instead of putting croutons in your soup, it's nice with these. And they're good for if you want to keep the vampires away. It was one pound nine pence. And I bought two pack of six, two ready salted, two salt and vinegar and two cheese and onion in the, the wrinkled crisp. They call them ridged. They were 99 pence. <coughs> and I bought six pack of sunshine fruits. They are peach, mango and passion fruit and apricot. They were 89 pence for the pack of six. Which is very good that. And my Hawaiian pizza. And before anybody says anything, I love pineapple and ham. My grand. He's my great grandson, actually, Frankie, when they were here the other day and he saw this box on the, I saved the box boxes, but I put on my knitting patterns, the back of my knitting patterns and I send them out so that they, they won't fold the um, envelopes. And I was keeping the box, I was just drying it out properly because I had used it and had been in the freezer. And he said, oh, Nana, pineapple on pizza. I says, you want to try it sometime, Frankie? It's nice. So anybody else that's got anything to say, mind your own business, I like this. £1.69 that was. And I actually found some smaller pedal bin liners. You know, all I, all I seem to be, I have a small pedal bin in my kitchen and it's emptied every couple of days where the larger ones, I did have an, an old one a long time ago, a larger one, and it used to take a week for to fill the bag up. You know, well, you know, I didn't like a lot of stuff in there, and now I've got a smaller one. But I could never find the bags. The smaller one, this is 25 litres. The larger bags are 50 litres, and these are the right size for my pedal bin. So that's what I got. It says I've got tie handles on, on them, so they must tie must pull up and tie them. And they were £1.35 pence for 30 liners. And I had ran out of them. I was using those bags until I bought those that come in through the um the door for to put your yeah, charity things in, you know, which I don't use, but I use them up for my thing. And then I bought a walnut cake. Walnut slice, this was £1.29, it was £1.49 in Sainsbury's, the same size and that. A packet of shortcake biscuits, 49 pence. And my chocolate eclairs, I always get when I go to Aldi's, I either get chocolate eclairs or one of the other fresh cream cakes. They were 75 pence. You pay about £2 in Sainsbury's for something like that, which I will not pay. Oh, there they are. And I get the, the moist toilet wipes. They were 55 pence. And I've got some cashew nuts here I must have missed on this list somewhere. Did I find them? Oh, there they are. I must have passed them when I've been looking. They were 99 pence for a packet of roasted salted cashews. And that little lot came to £26.30. So that's my shopping for the week with what I bought from Sainsbury's as well as Aldi's. Should last me at least a week. And last, one baking potato. That was 23 pence. I like that, baking potato. I just do it in the microwave. 
Put loads of butter in and loads of cheese and some ham in with it, you know, and all that butter and cheese, all that fattening stuff, you know. But I don't care. At my age. So thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you all another time. So bye for now.